Uh, I'm Lieutenant Colonel John Berger. I'm the, the commander of the 321 AMOS, Air Mobility Operations Squadron. For Mobility Guardian, I'm filling the role as the AOC commander. So here at Travis Air Force Base, we've stood up an Air Operations Center, AOC, from scratch. And what AOCs do is they take the Combined Forces Air Component Commander, the CFAC's intent, and turn it into an air plan that is executable down at the tactical level. So there, there have been months and months, uh, actually over a year of planning that has gone into turning uh, our squadron into uh, an air operations center in order to execute this, uh, this huge exercise uh, Mobility Guardian that has 4,000 people from 26 countries, 53 aircraft from nine uh, international countries and includes over 86 wings. So it's been a massive undertaking, but um, we've uh, done very well so far and, and the exercise has been great training not only for us up at the AOC, but uh, for the air crews and all the international partners as well. Yeah, so the international integration piece is, is huge. It's, uh, it's very unique to be able to work with. Uh, my counterpart is uh, Colonel Ilaragi. He's from uh, Chile, and he's filling in as the AOC deputy commander. So um, I'm learning uh, lots of things from him on how they run their AOC in Chile. And then hopefully he's learning a couple things from me about how we run things. But through that, that partnership, um, we're building, we're strengthening the ties between uh, the United States Air Force and the Chilean Air Force. In addition, um, some of the uh, officers from, we also have officers from Netherlands and uh, from France, and they've ta taken on big roles in the AOC. For example, today we have a Chilean officer that's taken over as our air refueling control team chief. So the, the chief of the team that organizes and uh, plans the entire air refueling plan for Mobility Guardian. So he's stepped into big shoes, but uh, all the feedback that I'm getting so far is that he's done really well.